What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can get the Kid Leroy skin early and for free in Fortnite Chapter 4. So if that's something you're interested in, remember to watch this video, give it a like, subscribe if you like some more, and comment down below if you are excited for the Kid Leroy skin and concert in Fortnite. So Fortnite just announced a Duos Zero Build Cup to get the skin early. If you go to the Compete tab in game, you can see what time this is for your region. And then you can also at the bottom right click the prizing information and see what place you need to be in order to get the skin. I believe you get a spray at just 8 points. But under that, there's a certain placing to unlock the skin and back playing and stuff. And that placing will vary from server to server because each server has like, they do it by like the more populated servers. So the most populated server gets the most people that get it. And then it's in descending order. Um, I believe you can only play one region for this as well. So make sure you're playing the region that you actually want to play on. Last season, you could play as many regions as you want. But this season, they've changed the way cups work. And even for cups with literally no prize, you can only play one region. So I assume this will be region locked as well. So that's super important. You don't want to end up trying to play Middle East on a bunch of ping just for the heck of it and then not have a chance to play on your, your actual server. So one of the most important things in Zero Build Comp is going to be the Porta Bunker. These are ridiculous they're a huge deal it's the only mobile cover in the game right now cow catchers as well if you aren't able to get the bunkers cow catchers can work but you really want the bunkers this makes it to where you can make cover anywhere and in these cups you will have a decent amount of people that make it end game so if you play pubs you can usually get by not having bunkers and just using what natural cover exists from like trees rocks or houses but in these cups, a lot of teams are going to be carrying bunkers. And if you're the only team endgame with no bunkers, you're not going to have a good time. So I think the Porta Bunker is essential um, in zero build competitive. The Shockwave Hammer is also a big deal. If both you and your teammates are able to get, or both you and your teammates, sorry, are able to get the Shockwave Hammer, you're going to have a much easier time playing the game and rotating around the map because you can get from point A to point B quicker. And that's really big in zero build because you can't build to protect yourself. So if you need to rotate in a zone, a hammer smash or two can, or a hammer dash or two can get you in whereas without that you're gonna have a much harder time getting into zone so i think you definitely in an ideal world you know you're not going to get great loot all the time uh you ideally both want to have bunkers and both have the shockwave hammer and when you're just traveling around the map if you're not hammer dashing you want to have your bunkers out and know which player is going to throw their bunkers first the moment you get shot you look at the ground you throw the bunker and that's a huge deal in zero build comp you want to run around with your bunkers out if you're not actively hammering but the thing is, if you're carrying bunkers and you're carrying the shockwave hammer, obviously you're going to ha carry heals as well. That only leaves you with two guns. And I feel like this season is very much a three gun loadout most of the time for me. But two guns is what you're going to want to use for this, I think. When we do the squad cups, I often run three weapons. But I'm usually the only person in the squad doing that. And I'm usually the one who gets the most kills, so it kind of works. But... For duos, I think you both want to be carrying bunkers and you both want to be carrying the hammer as well. And so that leaves you with two weapons. I believe the best setup will maybe be Thunder Shotgun and then Tactical Pistol, especially if you can get the Pistol Amp Augment. Maybe Thunder Shotgun and the Scar Assault Rifle or just the normal Assault Rifle. Or maybe even just Maven and Red Eye. I could definitely see myself going for Maven, Shotgun, and Red Eye in this. Even though I prefer the Thunder Shotgun most of the time, I just really don't like the Red Eye as a follow-up weapon to the Thunder Shotgun. Doesn't have the greatest fire rate, doesn't have the greatest hip fire. And I feel like on controller, it has pretty much no hip fire accuracy. So personally, I don't like running Thunder Shotgun Red Eye. Um, so I think for this, I will end up doing Maven Shotgun Red Eye, or maybe even Thunder Shotgun Tactical Pistol, depending on the situation. Um, some people even run no shotgun in zero build competitive. A lot of my teammates do this for the squad cups. They just run like red eye and then tactical pistol or red eye and twin mag SMG. So if you aren't the biggest fan of the shotguns anyways, that can be good. The, the way zero build comp plays out, it's not like you're just running at people all the time. You will get in some fights where the shotgun is nice, but it's going to be a lot more mid to long range or like close to mid range fighting. Not as many shotgun situations in zero build comp from what I've played. Although it still is really nice to have one. The forecast augment is incredibly busted in zero build comp. Zero build comp, in my opinion, is pretty much all about getting to a good spot in zone late enough into the game to where you can win off of it with your bunkers. And forecast makes that really easy because you're able to, or easier, because you're able to see the next zone and plan ahead accordingly. And just, it makes your life so much easier if you have forecast. So 
ideally one of you wants to have forecast and you can kind of just ping on the map and show the other where it is but the tough thing is in competitive you start each game with 50 gold and then you don't get you you don't start with your max gold you start with 50 and it resets every game so it's hard to have gold to re-roll for augments in these. Um, if you land at a spot where there's saves, make sure you're getting them. And potentially because re-rolling and getting forecast is a big deal. If you aren't going to re-roll augments or maybe you just get it your first try, if there's any vending machines in your area, buying the ammo from that can also be really beneficial. From what I've played in zero build tournaments, ammo is like pretty much always a concern. But all of the tournaments this year have been squads or this season for zero build have been squads. And it is definitely different kind of splitting the ammo from a POI amongst four people rather than two. So ammo might not be as much of a concern for this, but it is still really nice. If, you, if you're not going to spend the gold anyways, you might as well buy the ammo out of the vending machine so you don't have to worry about it. Um, kind of like what I talked about before, I think zero build comp is all about just like putting yourself in the right spot to end the game. And just in general and competitive, I think it's best to play for end game and put yourself in the best position to win the game. In some earlier matches, you can kind of W key and play really aggro because it'll be low elo and you can get a lot of kills and a lot of points that way. But with these tournaments, the more points you have, the harder lobbies you get. And when you get to the harder or like the decent elo lobbies, you're not just going to be able to play stupid aggro. You're probably going to get third partied for doing so. And with zero build, you're going to waste a lot of your resources. You know, if you only find two bunkers for your entire team and then you're wasting them in a first zone fight that you're forcing, that's not really that ideal. So I think it's best to just play for in game. Play to put yourself in the best position to win the game and don't worry about kills as much especially once you get into decent elo because once you get into decent elo the end game is going to be pretty populated and just having the best spot in end game or having a decent spot in end game you will just rack up a lot of kills uh, the way i've always kind of looked at it is like the longer you stay in the match the more potential you have to get points, not only those placement points, but also, also the points for the win. And just in-game kills come super easy if you have a decent position because everybody else is pretty shambles and they're just kind of like running at you. They might be weak as well. Uh, so if you're able to get to in-game at a decent point, you'll get a lot of kills. But if you just force a fight first zone like we talked about before waste all your bunkers maybe you get those two kills, but you've basically decided that you're not really getting much more points from that match and... With how the timing of these tournaments works, you have 10 games, 3 hours. If you get to the point where you have like 4 games left and there's only like 20 minutes, you can just hot drop in some games and just try to get some quick kill points just to get your games in, you know? But for the most part, I think playing for endgame is really, really important. And I'll have a clip of something on screen here. This will be like a moment about what I'm about to explain. This is from one of the squad cups. And when it comes to endgame, I think the team that gets a good position... Uh, close to the end of the game will usually win so most zero build comp games from what i've played go to either half and half or first moving very rarely does it get deep into first movings though so if you're able to put yourself in a good spot at half and half you're probably going to mop up a bunch of kills these ones might play a little different because it's duos so there's like more split teams you know like 40 people in squads is 10 squads, 40 people in duos is 20 duos. So it gets a little more chaotic, so it might last a little longer. But either way, half and half or first moving is probably when the game is going to end. And half and half is when the zone, like, I think it's fourth zone when, like, half of the circle is in zone and half of it isn't in zone. And then it kind of moves to the point where that's the only playable area. That's half and half. That is usually when the game is going to win. Very rarely do zero build matches get deep into moving zones unless it's a really weird zone. And so you want to put yourself in the best position to capitalize on that. It's not really worth fighting for ideal positioning in second zone because you're probably not going to win the game off second zone positioning. And as the zone shrinks, more and more of the area is cut off. You know, like first zone into second zone, a lot of surface area is cut off first zone into second or second into third even more and like as the zones get smaller you're losing less so i don't think you want to really force and fight for positioning until it's positioning you can win the game off like i was saying and i should have had a clip showing basically us just winning the game and getting a bunch of kills off of pulling half and half because we had forecast and we put bunkers there and we just capitalized on and won the game i think that's like the biggest thing in zero build comp is making it to half and half with bunkers and if you're able to do that, you're probably going to win the game. If half and half doesn't pull for you, you probably want to just hammer to it and then bunker. Or maybe hammer at a team, smash them, and take their bunker. Uh, but really, 
conserving bunkers and using bunkers appropriately is kind of the most important thing in zero build competitive i do have videos on my channel of the zero build squad cups we've had three weeks thus far um, we've been able to get top 100 twice basically we got like 105th and 94th and then i think like 200th the first week it wasn't that great but we've been able to do somewhat well in them. That playlist will be linked down in the description below if you want to check that out and kind of see what zero build comp is like and kind of get an idea for what it's going to be like. But I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, comment down below if you're excited for the Kid Leroy concert, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. White, white white and killed? Or bush? 38 white. In the bush, in the bush. Yeah, yeah, careful, right. Yeah, careful, right. Look, no. look at this guy to the right. No. Nice. Left, left. What's the hammering? Yep. Try to our left, guys. Left one, left one. Crack the other. Here, let's take this bunker. Take this bunker right here. Yep, yep. We have more on bunkers. Us, on, us. on us. On you, on you. On Brookshot, Watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. He's one, he's one. Dead, 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 dead on us. Dead on us. Crack the guy at the top of the tree. Can you just on us, under, under, under. Dead. Nice. Here, we have zone again. Here, but hammering. Here, I'm dropping here, a bunker. Here. I dropped a bunker behind us. Okay, nice. We have a lot of bunkers to work here. Just. Yep. We're good. That team that's right on for yellow mark is so weak. They're getting they're getting beamed. They should be whited. Knock, knock, knock. Oh my god, I got yeah, the yeah. again. Here, shoot the tree out right here. Yeah, dead on us, dead on us. Nice, nice, good stuff. Here. This guy's so weak. Yeah, dead, dead. Dead. Wait, we're across in now? Front of us. We just hold these guys now. Yep, 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 just wait. Pressure him, pressure him. Is this, this is the last team? Okay. Just pressure them. Bro, shut on one. One shot in the air to the right. Wait, die, 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 die. Nice, one shot. Nice. Oh my gosh, we actually.